So we popped up just over the road for the Dragon Trail Seaside track. This is the reverse grid, so the exact opposite line up from what you saw in the last one that finished. Uh, so Sabertis on pole in the Porsche of Angus McCorb in the Lamborghini. That car should get away well. Um, a lot of people in this race will be driving front wheel drive cars. They don't get away well, but they should have their legs in the race. So coming down towards uh, the first game for the first time of asking, Sabertis is leading the way. Uh, Angus McCall just about staying ahead in the Lamborghini, but Sarah Exic in the 650S is looking down the inside. He gets that move made. Uh, is it nice and tidy through here? It looks it. There was Raffo there in the 650S. It was always a looking a little bit, uh, a little bit squirrely. There's a couple of McLarens in this. It's actually good to see some non-TT events. We will, have, of course, have a proper go through everyone as the, as the race progresses. People just try and sort themselves out. There are quite a few TTs in there. There's three there in a the Peugeot, so there's, there's a few of them. But at the minute, the race is dominated by a Porsche and a McLaren with Angus McCorb's Lamborghini not too far away in the background. We've got uh, Piper then in the VW Sirocco. That's an FF car. That's what I mean by FF. is front-engine, front-wheel drive. These cars end up having the legs in terms of straight-line power and acceleration. They don't corner exceptionally well, and uh, getting your foot down in these cars is, is a challenge sometimes. Juicy Ale is driving a BMW M4. Coming down towards the Defs game for the first time of asking. Just want to see if everyone survives this. Oh, it's getting a little bit. So far, I think there might have just been a bit of a wall tap there. Definitely by Sabertus. Uh, which is let Angus McCout up into the lead of the race. Uh, Juicy Ale in the BMW there, trying to just go down the inside of Piper. Uh, we've got the McLaren there of Sayerexing now, trying to make a move on the VW as well. And the McLarens are great in a straight line. They have such good top-end speed. Uh, Raffo, Miggins and Sayerexing all driving the 650Ss. They're all going into this part of the track together. Begins having a look up the inside. Nothing doing there though. Sayrex, it just gets that corner a little bit wrong. It's going to put him under pressure from Miggins. And then the TT's just starting to fight their way through. So we've got Chi Chi, winner last time out. Uh, P Gib in a TT. Rear wheel is in a Peugeot. I'm sure there was three TT's a moment ago. We might have. Um, oh, there he is. Look, there's Tim. Tim 27's in a TT as well. He's just climbed up a few places. Uh, so Dragon Trail Seaside then, another fictional circuit, uh, geographically right next to the one we were at in the last video. Probably one of the most driven tracks in the game, um, a very good circuit for car testing, it kind of has it all, low speed sections, high speed sections. As Piper goes for the move down the inside of Sabert, it's a great move there by Piper. And now he's in front here, it's going to be very hard, and Rafa there is just going to have to tuck in. Right to curbs nicely. Oh, that was Chichi then slapping the wall in the TT. So the TT didn't interact very well with these curbs at all. I found this in my race. I had to differentiate my approach. Similar line to Chichi's what I took, but yeah, the same thing kept happening to me. So I just I lost time through that section every time, but um, I didn't slam into the wall as much. It's just the TT. It just don't like it. Juicy Ailes BMW now trying to get on the back of the Lamborghini. Angus McCout up. We might go back to that in a moment, but then Piper is punching a hole in the air for Sabertus and Tim 27. And then there's Raffo and Sayrexic and Miggins all involved in that scrap as well. Does Juicy Ale go for a move? No, he doesn't. There was some places happening here. Oh, it's a bit ping pongy down here. Tim 27 shuffled out. Back and have a look at that. So Miggins gets a good view of this, I think. So let's just jump on Miggins' car. In fact, we'll go on his roof cam. There we go, better view. It's three into one, don't fit. That's basically all it is. So Tim just gets shuffled. 
Miggins unfortunately just has to tap the back end of Sabertus. Gives Sabertus a little boost, boost to get back involved in this little fight though. Raphael just trying to keep ahead of Tim. And McLaren just about makes it for now. Miggins with the good move down the inside of Sabertus then. A little bit further up, we have got Juicy Ale and Angus McElwell battling for first. Juicy Ale on the BMW goes deep. It's going to slow both cars down at the top. That will give Piper the overspeed. And Piper's technically shouldn't be able to drive around both of them here. Got the move down. It's a great move by Piper. Uh, those two cars just slowed each other down going through the S's. Tim uh, battles back against Raffo. And we're starting to get some sort of order now. Sabertus then has been... It was in eight. What happened to Sabertus? Oh, he just went, yeah, he got flung. Oh, he went airborne. He got air. Yeah, so, chicane of death then, second time of asking. It's very important to spot your apexes through the chicane of death. As Tim nearly gets it wrong going through there, but survives. Miggins slaps the barrier. Everyone escapes so far. Then we have got to Miggins and Chichi fighting away. The TT getting the advantage there through the higher speed section. Uh, he should start to pull away as well. The McLaren might have the legs to come back at him. Uh, we see Angus McCoat up still battling away with uh, Piper for that P1 spot. Uh, we've got Tim getting involved in that fight as well now. He's shuffled Juicy Ale down to fourth. The BMW just doesn't have the top end uh, to compete with some of these cars, but it does handle probably better than most of them. Uh, the BMW and the McLaren both handle really nicely. And for the time being, as Sabertus Tokyo drifts it into the first chicane. Let's see Juicy A will try and go around the outside of the Raffo. And uh, P Gib also trying to make moves, but he's just struggling to get through some of this traffic. Um, it's a big old battle this going up at the top. It's just everyone trying to trying to get an advantage. Tim is now leading the race. And Piper is gonna give him a little bit of pressure. TT's got good brakes, so he should be able to brake nice and late into here. Uh, the Lamborghini will have superior traction and just able to drive down the inside of Piper. Raffo's going to try and take advantage of work as well. As Raffo can get himself ahead here, he should be okay, but you really don't want to go too wide through the chicane of death, so Piper backs out of it. And it's just this... It's hard to call. I mean, Chi Chi won last time out. You'd think he'd got the pace, really, as uh, Miggins goes for that look down the inside. It goes for the move on Piper, but Piper is just able to hold his line and hold his nerve. It uh, does get shuffled down, though, but the VW will have uh, pretty good speed. He's getting a bit of a toe from the BMW as well. Uh, so, lap five now. The action is never ending here at Dragon Trail as Tim27 leads us into lap five. Closely followed by the Lamborghini of Angus McCartle, bringing GT Raffo and the McLaren along for the party as well. Uh, these guys behind Piper Miggins, Juicy Ale, and Chi Chi. Uh, these guys still fighting for the fourth position. All the while, the guys ahead are starting to break away a little bit. Uh, Miggins just clatters the. Um, Flat as the apex, that sends him wide, affects his braking. And he's going to be shuffled down behind Juicy Ale now, battling away with Chi Chi for that P6 spot. Let's go and check on everyone else. Rear wheel holding eight for the minute ahead of Dominator in the Jag and Sayer Exic in the McLaren. Uh, and then you got Sabertis in 11th. What's happened to Pete Gibb? So instant replay. I had to go back to lap four for this, so this shows just what I was doing. <laughs> Tracking the top, guys. Sayer Exit goes off the circuit out of control really, tags P. Gibb who then hits the wall and becomes suddenly stationary with engine damage, so yeah, that's going to put him miles back back to the action then at the top 
as Angus McCall in the Lamborghini is just trying to uh, stay in this fight. Uh, again, runs wide. A couple of cars have been doing that there. He has to sort of concede the position to Rafa and Tim for the time being, but does live to fight another day. Piper still in fourth ahead of Juicy Ale, but the BMW might go for a lunge down here. Uh, down at the dock area, he does. Piper sees it, gives him the room. Miggins and Chichi still fighting away. Chichi ahead for the time being. And chicane of death time once more. Has everyone survived this? So far, so good. Couple of war taps on the exit there. Not massively critical. Uh, they will null your um, momentum now. So Juicy Ale now going to have a look inside the McLaren. Claren that takes a wide exit, he's gonna, he's gonna go for the exit speed here with GT Rafa. And indeed he gets that because Juicy Ale runs deep on the exit. And that's gonna give Rafa a great opportunity to slipstream him down towards the, uh, the, the first chicane. And uh, here we go again. This is the, um, this is the action spot, this is Got Chichi trying to make a move, got Juicy Ale almost forced to the outside. His indicators keep coming on for some reason, I'm not sure what he keeps doing by that, but uh, Angus Bacot up, who was leading the race for some time, um, always we find we see a car off. It was Juicy Ale's car. So he's got Chichi behind him, he just, yeah, he, he got, I mean, he got a little bit of a helping hand, but took himself off, I think. Uh, keeps the place ahead of Miggins, though, because uh, Miggins went a little bit deep, so... It's kind of fortunate for the BMW driver, and he's able to get straight past the ailing Lamborghini. So, leading the race, Tim. Starting just to pull a little bit of a gap now. Cars behind fighting so much is helping his cause. Uh, they are going three wide then. Piper down the inside but goes deep. Rafa might get the cut back here. Daddy does. The McLaren can just get on the power a lot easier than the uh, front wheel drive cars that are tucked up behind him. Um, Cheech is going to have to tuck in behind Piper. Uh, Juicy Ale and Miggins going side by side. I don't recommend that boys. Miggins stays ahead. Juicy Ayo for the time being has to settle them for six. We've got Angus McCall up in seventh now, rear wheel in eighth. Now it's starting to catch now. Uh, Sayrexic in at ninth, with Dominator in tenth, and then we've already covered P Gib um, and Sabertus as woes so far. Again, it's another half hour race. I would expect all drivers to be pitting, given the tyre wear. It's uh, significant in most cars, but especially the front wheel drives. Uh, as Miggins and Piper now go to war. McLaren V VW V BMW BMW with the inside line Piper oh it's we might have to just go back and review this because Cheech has come off really bad here uh, so this is on board Cheech's car so Cheech is the one basically towing all these guys along I don't know if Cheech ends up going deep because Cheech is not fighting with anyone uh, but that's Rafa up ahead uh, and we're looking at Piper, Miggins and Juicy Ale behind us. So Juicy Ale goes to the inside. Just looks like Piper was late on the brakes, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, late on the brakes to defend the move. And that catches Sayer Exic out. Cheech is right down now. And we're going to see what the consequences are. You can see Piper's let Cheechy past, which probably admits his mistake there but that has juiced things up a little bit at the top Miggins now in fifth uh, Angus McCall up now in fourth Juicy A up, up to third a great race so far for the BMW driver and um, GT Raffo now second place in the McLaren and Tim in the TT uh, has been running in clear air for a lap or so uh, again, he'll be just thinking about when he can pit now. Rafa's got much better tyres than the TT ahead. The McLaren does have better tyre wear, and that does matter in these races. The TT, in theory, should be faster over a lap, but um, uh, the McLaren over a race distance is often... Uh, it's very negligible between the two, because the McLaren can hold its pace better. Uh, similar for the BMW. 
The Lamborghini is probably a little bit more savage on its tyres than the other cars, but um, it's still managed as well. Uh, we have this Dominator v Sire exit battle happening once more. Dominator in the Jag. It's an absolute powerhouse, that car. Not much that doesn't beat in a straight line. Tim Pitts from the lead, so he's coming early. Now the problem that's going to present to Tim is it's going to bring him out in traffic, so that might well harm his overall race um, desires, I guess. So it's bought him out basically in a bunch of cars, so he's going to come out, he's going to end up behind Chi Chi, who, if you remember a lap ago, was in the gravel here, so that's not great news for Tim. He's on fresh tyres. But he's going to struggle to make that advantage count. P. Gibb back down to the bottom. We have lost. Uh, we have lost Sabertus, who has uh, left the race. We've got Raffo now leading the race, but Juicy Ale is all over him. And the BMW is just looking for a way through. goes for a move down here. Uh, he decides against it. Rafa goes deep anyway. Uh, that is the BMW up to P1. Rafa with going deep. Uh, shuffle down to second. Uh, we've seen Tim go up once. So Tim got past Chi Chi relatively easily there. What happened? So that's Miggins running wide. Tim's tucked up behind Chi Chi. Oh yeah, Chi Chi just gets himself in the gravel there. Kills all his momentum. That's Tim up to eighth. He's going to now have a go at Dominator. Who, because of the tyre wear that uh, Dominator now has, just has to get out of it. Tim then immediately goes for a move on rear wheel. Tries to get a exit at the same time. Uh, the McLaren will just keep ahead at this point though. But that's a it was a good effort by Tim to get past effectively three cars there. You notice the difference in tyres. Well, some drivers may pit this lap, some may choose to wait, so... I probably wouldn't expect the top two to come in right now. So the tyres are alright. Uh, Angus back up might well choose to. Most, unless the tyres are dead, I probably won't, I probably won't come in. Um, Chichi's going to come in, yeah, his tyres are done. Uh, rear wheel comes in as well, so it's a lot of the FF guys. Dominator and the Jag peels into the pits as well. Uh, so the good thing for those guys is they've come out in clear air now. And they will not come out in any traffic. GCL starting to drive way into the distance at uh, the top. Top guys do have a little bit of uh, breathing room. So Exic, Miggins and Tim now. So the two McLarens trying to keep the TT at bay. The TT on fresh tyres should have the drive on these cars at the minute. Miggins is going to have the inside line here. What's that? Miggins actually backed out of that move. Or well, backed out of defending it is probably the right terminology to use. And... Um, might well just opt to try and follow the Audi through. Oh, a little bit of uh, contact there from Sayer Exit. What happened? So that's Tim in the background. You'll watch Miggins just back out of that, basically. So Sayer Exit goes a little bit deep there. Catches the curb there, importantly. Yeah, and that puts Tim on the grass. Let's just see Tim's perspective of that. So it's GTA, so it actually just caught the curb. And it slapped him off the track, but fortunately he was able to keep it going. But he's uh, he's not got the momentum to get so Exit, although so Exit nerfs himself off at the corner anyway. And Miggins can try and drive back past Tim now. Tim again might just opt to back out of that fact. <laughs> he's going for it, he needs that place. Miggins has been shuffled down to 6th. Doesn't look like he's very happy about that, if truth be told. Uh, traditionally, at that part of the circuit, you'd, you'd tend not to go side by side. It's, it's not a written rule, it's an unwritten rule as Juicy Ale goes deep enough the circuit. Um, it's just because it's, it's a bit of an accident hotspot. 
so it's risky, that's all. So he gets his, that's nice and tiny. Uh, just a little bit early on, yeah, it's a tiny bit early there then on the power. He goes into the pits, Rafa carries on, so Rafa's still going here. Angus McCall also pits. Tim will carry on. How much has that um, how much has that hurt him? Doesn't appear to have done him too much damage. The problem he's gonna have is at the end of the race, he's gonna have unless he pits again, he's gonna have very worn tires. But we'll see if he chooses to two stop, because he did stop pretty early for his uh, for his first one. I'm not convinced two stops are faster because your first stop's always going to be into traffic. So I'm not convinced. Um, Chichi then, when the last time out, has pitted. He's just ahead of Angus McCall for the time being. P. Gibb up to eighth after his pit stops. Dominating ninth, Piper Temp. We have lost another driver. Uh, Miggins is missing, yeah it is Miggins, Miggins is uh, retired from the race, so we're down to just 10 drivers now. He's uh, dominated and runs it a little bit deep. The tyre's probably still trying to get up to temperature there in the Jaguar. Now that most, oof, 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 Rafa, what are you doing man? That's what I was going to say. I was just thinking, oh, that might have chilled out a little bit now. <laughs> Rafa goes and smacks the wall. That's just, I mean, this is the thing with worn tyres. You just haven't got the turning. Yeah, he just slaps it in a wall. So, with every driver now making at least one stop, uh, let's give you the rundown of the grid as we enter the remaining. 11 minutes of the race. Uh, your current race leader is Tim27. He stopped quite early, uh, so he should, in theory, start losing pace towards the end. Uh, Juicy Ale in the BMW has just come out. He's got some nice fresh tyres on that car. Trails Tim by a couple of seconds. I'd expect him to start leeching onto the back of that TT once the tyres go. Uh, Chi Chi, you win the last time out. Just claimed fastest lap of the race, a 44.8 for the TT. Um, he's um, he's doing a very nice job of this one so far. Then you got Angus McCall up in fourth, uh, just ahead of GT Raffo. He's just actually made that move. Um, Raffo, as you remember, made a mistake here a lap ago. Uh, with most drivers' pits laps have been about 153, 154. Raffo's was 157, so he lost a few seconds on that lap. That has hurt, but he will have the freshest tyres of everyone at the end of the race, so that's at least a benefit. Uh, rear wheel, six for rear wheel at the minute, at least he's got some of the cars to look at this time round, so he'll be a little bit happier with that. Uh, P. Gibb has hauled himself off the back of the grid and uh, climbed his way up to seventh. He's ahead of Cyrexic, um, Dave Piper, and Dominator in the Jack. So that is your order then. Down towards the last couple of minutes, uh, last, sorry, the last handful of laps. That's what we're Two thirds of the way through now. Rafa and Angus McCall will be yet again battling for fourth place. That was rear wheel, you can see in the background there, and uh, Rafa just about keeping that place uh, ahead of the Lamborghini. Uh, Angus is doing a good job this race so far. The Lamborghini. Definitely, definitely not the strongest car in the field by any stretch of the imagination. The front wheel drive car is absolutely trounce it on one lap pace, but it also doesn't have the tyre uh, longevity or tyre duration, I guess, durability of the McLarens. Uh, we've got a couple of McLarens in the field tonight, so that will help. The BMWs also hold the tyres pretty well. So it's all the case. The Piper's just nicked the fastest lap of 44.6. What was Cheech's? 44.8, yeah, so Piper's doing a really good job at the minute. So this battle for fourth could really open up. So we've got Rafa involved in that, we've got Angus McCall up, uh, but there's rear wheel and P. Gibb not too far away. And if we're really going to start talking about tyre wear and stuff, Sayrex, it's got to be considered as well, because that car will hold its tyres a lot better than 
most of these other cars. As we see, is P. Gibb going for a one there on Sayer Exit? He is. Uh, what happened there? So Sayer Exit always behind, he was. Did P. Gibb slap the wall? Oh, he went wide there. Yeah, he just got a bad exit. I don't think he hit the wall, but he definitely had to back off. So the McLaren able to drive around the outside, but the brakes on the TT are pretty decent. So P. Gibb can just get him back on braking. GCA or VTEM, GCA is just not in a 44-3. Yeah, very good performance then by the BMW driver so far. Tim's tyres starting to just go off the cliff a little bit now. Losing lap time, he was running in the 45s, he's now in the 46s. And uh, the BMW might just go for a look down the inside, backs out of that one. Time being, has to sort of park behind the Audi. He's just been nice and patient. Is um, Juicy AO with this? Climbing all over the back of the TT as they go up the hill, but he needs that slipstream coming down the hill because the TT's got better brakes. So he, ne he needs to be a bit more clever about how he goes about. Oh, nice switch back there, late as anything. Um, I think Tim was wise to that. I kind of expected that to happen, I think, and um, just covered him off with some light braking anyway. So nice driving by both of those guys. Um, so Juicy Hell's just going to have to hang fire right here. Uh, Cheech is doing good lap times. Uh, not enough at the minute to catch the top two. They're going to have to start really hard battling for the remaining seven minutes to make a dent in that. Uh, Raffo's doing enough uh, in fourth. Say Rexic is now coming under pressure from Piper. Uh, what's Gibbo doing? Uh, Gibbo, what have you done now? I'm not going to go back and look this time, but I'm guessing you've, you've crashed somewhere. It's, it's a Gibbo move. It's down towards. I was going to say, I thought Juicy Air might go for a move out, around there, but uh, the BMW did struggle. Tim's having to go defensive though, I've just seen Angus McCoat up for, there's been a little bit of a shuffle at the back, so let's have a look. Uh, so that's Ruffle v Angus McCoat up. Bit of side by side, and I think the Lamborghini just not able to make that move happen there. And then you've got Piper v Sayer exit, with Piper getting that move made back up to 7th. That looked like quite a nice overtake there. Just side by side with the McLaren. It's going to be a move around the outside for the VW. Holds fifth as long as he possibly can. Gives the room at the apex. Uh, but has the inside line importantly for this section. So Cyrex is probably going to keep his nose in, but uh, the VW's got the advantage coming into the sweeping right hand section. Uh, good move there by Piper. Still juicy ale trailing Tim. Is juicy ale gonna go for another um, another late uh, late dive down the inside? You, you sort of wonder whether the BMW is gonna try that trick again. Doesn't juicy ale might just be waiting here for the size to go off, saying that drive straight on the inside because the, the TT went deep. So. That's, it's juicy a juicy ale up the inside. That now leads the race. Chichi still holding third. So still good points for Chichi. You won't be mad about this. Don't forget he came from the back of the grid in a TT. Uh, Rafael getting some air. Might hurt his uh, momentum here. That might give Angus McCall just a little bit of uh, of a sight. Close enough to do too much about it, although he does throw one down the inside because Rafa again just late on the brakes there and just goes too deep. As McCoke does manage to drive up the inside, but the McLaren's got the legs. So in this format, the McLaren will just stretch his legs over that car. on 
for now, but Angus McCorps look threatening in that Lamborghini. Gets it all pushing really as hard as he possibly can. Survives to tell the tail. That's going to put him off the back. Uh, it's definitely going to put him off the back of Rafo's car. He's going to have to just keep that push going a little bit more. Uh, four minutes remaining. A handful of laps left now. Sayer so X6 back past Piper. That's so again. Piper's going to have to do that work all over again. Angus McCout up now, back behind, back behind, behind rear wheel. Uh, I think that uh, he just got his tyres mucky last time and uh, rear wheel was able to drive up the inside. But Angus is going to try and put his Lamborghini there, just try and get in the way. It's got good traction coming out of this corner. Uh, rear wheel might just keep that place. Angus McCout just has to tuck in for the time being. again getting out of that corner but he's still pulling away so whatever he's doing is working for him uh, and as it stands your race leader and UCA will just beginning to pull that gap out of uh, out of Tim what's his lap time because Cheeky's catching him visually you can tell so 47.8 and a 45.6 yeah so Cheeky's lumping time out of Tim um, so all that defending Tim was doing to the BMW has hurt his tyres uh, don't forget he pitted earlier as well, so he was always going to face the punishment. Chi Chi pitted a lot later, his tyres will be fresher, he'll still be in good stead for the remaining few laps. Tim will start to now struggle. It might just be a wise idea not to fight with Chi Chi too much, because the worst case is you'll bring this guy into the fight. He's not too far away. Uh, but because Rafa's not getting pressured from behind, he can see these guys in the distance and he'll want a piece of that pie if, uh, if Tim's tyres start to go. So we'll keep an eye on that potentially, potentially happening. A little bit further back. Uh, rear wheel maintaining fifth at the minute. Cyrex so struggled in this section of the circuit so far, but uh, seems relatively tidy that time. Oh, Angus McCorb just goes a little bit too wide. Again, just making little mistakes, which is just putting him out of the range of making any moves. When he's been in range, he's looked very threatening, uh, but he's, he's struggled really since uh, since our second start. Uh, Piper's been shuffled down to ninth. I want to say he's had an off somewhere. That last lap of 48-2, uh, so not a great lap for him at all. I have to go on the defensive here against Sayer Exic. Looks like it's getting pretty close as well between Chi Chi and Tim. In fact, it is getting pretty close between Chi Chi and Tim because Chi Chi is ahead. Uh, when did that happen? So that was actually earlier on in the lap. Completely missed it. So just on board with Chi Chi, we're going his roof actually. Superior tie work and carry more speed. Tim just tries to push the boundary too much and just goes a little bit deep. That will scrub his tyres and chalk off a load of momentum. And the Sausage Man through now to second place. Not much you can do about first with the time remaining, but he just needs to consolidate second. Tim, be wise to consolidate first. Them tyres are shredded. He, he, he don't want to let. He don't want to fight Chi Chi too much because then um, threatens uh, threatens Rafa catch him. And you don't want that. Raphael gets some air again. Yep. <laughs> that might be a thumbnail, that Raphael. You never know, mate. We'll see. Pegan then ahead of Piper. Can the TT do anything about the cars ahead? So the fighting and the losing lap time, so we might be able to. So we can't we'll shuffle down to seventh now. Last lap territory for most people as we hit the 29 minute mark. So one minute, to, uh, one minute remaining. Uh, these two look safe from the attack by Rafa now. So Tim might choose to just try and attack this. Juicy ale, as long as he doesn't crash, so we're fine. Still a few places up for grabs. 
the uh, should the need really rise. Tim V Cheechy looks to have chilled out a little bit. Rafa is consolidated fourth again, he's just got to keep it off. Uh, rear wheel V Sayerexic. Sayerexic through to fifth. We will on the Peugeot. This is technically one of the Peugeot's strongest parts of the circuit. As my phone smashes against my rig, if I crack the screen, i will survive. And Angus McCoe gets involved in this as well. Nice move by the Lamborghini. Gets himself past rear wheel. So rear wheel's lost a few positions there. Not long to go to get this all sorted out. Right, let's go back up to the top. Just give the credit where it's due. It's due CAO round. It's the last corner for the 17th for final time. Takes the win here at Dragon Trail Seaside. As we now begin to enter the second half of the season. Uh, that'll start him off in good uh, good stead for that. Uh, Chi Chi, P2, that, uh, that'll do him well for the championship. Tim, pretty happy with third, I feel. GT Raffo, hard fought fourth place, and then it's going to be a drag to the line between Sayer Exit, Angus McCorp, and Rear Wheel. We do finish in that order with P Gibb in eighth. Piper is going to finish in ninth and dominate him in the Jag. Um, he will finish in tenth. Right, so thanks for watching, and don't forget to tune in next week.